sa kayo lahat. Welcome to Pinar Crossover, the Filipino basketball show. I'm so excited here tonight. Marky Mark, your host, because we got a lot of... It's so exciting tonight because we have many guests tonight. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be exciting because yeah. you got JR here on the right side. Feeling good? Yeah, excited. PJ's not here tonight, but I know you guys want him always here. He's always here in our hearts because <laughs> he's our best host, right? <laughs> but before, other than that, we're going to introduce our guest champions of the V Cup. Tykes and Mosquito, the undefeated team. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. Good? Introduce yourself. Just a little bit quick, you know, what, what sports do you play? I mean, what position you play and um, your name? My, my name is Bernard Serrano. I was born on March 7, 2008. Uh, Maynum, yeah, again. Maynum, welcome Zach, back. Zach, Zach. Zach. Yes, Adelio, point guard, 2008, February 2nd. Nice. Uh, Jericho Alfonso, born August 8, 2007. And uh, my name is Anthony, known as Coach Tune, head coach of uh, Undefeated 2008 and 2006. All right. Awesome. And you, you, we've shown the highlights a few weeks ago on our show uh, about your V-Cup victory. So how was that whole experience playing once again in, in Victoria Cup? Or was it your second, first time playing in Victoria? What was that whole experience like, you know, going through the line? Uh, what was that feeling like winning that tournament? Um, we played as a team. We were sharing the ball. We were hardworking. Mm -hmm. I felt good because I was playing two years up. It's, I like, I'm, I'm used to like playing years, uh, two years up, but not usually 2006. I usually play 2007. Yeah, to like you took, yeah, 2007. Mm -hmm. if, yeah, I felt good like playing with my teammates and my, my coach. Mm -hmm. I felt good playing one year up because like I felt like I had to push myself even more and like get more body contact. <laughs> <laughs> Body contact, I like that. <laughs> Coach, how about yourself? Uh, I'm pretty uh, like uh, pretty satisfied because uh, the kids played well. They played uh, hard. I think we are the only team who have like uh, like uh, younger kids playing with 06 mm -hmm. because most team are playing like straight 2006. So pretty much ours like combination of 06, 08, and 07s. And I want to yeah. I want to ask you guys actually individually. Um, how did you? How do you usually prepare for tournaments like this? What is the things that you work on yourself so that you'll be ready turn when once the tournament starts and once you start playing? Um, I have to work hard um, in and out in, in and out of school. I have to practice my shooting and dribbling. Mm -hmm. uh, I have trainers outside. I usually train with them every day, like my coach, loaded skills. They're usually they usually train me. My coach, I go to practices, learn new stuff I like every day, and I bring it to the game. Mm -hmm. How about you? What are the things that you work on before you start playing in a tournament? Like some things that you like working on, like skill-wise shooting, maybe dribbling? Yeah. Do you guys have any like rituals, traditions that, you know, day of game day? Uh, not really. We just like, uh, I just keep reminding them like, uh, if you win, you win. Mm -hmm. It's part of the game if you lose, right? Mm -hmm. But most important thing is you guys have to have fun and play as a team. Mm -hmm. For sure. What did you guys like the most about the tournament? I know it's kind of a few weeks back already. What are the things that you remember playing in that tournament? It was very competitive, um, lots of competition. Yeah, just like you said, it was very com it was a competition everywhere, all ages, a lot of screaming, really, really loud. <laughs> From like the, the moms and the teasers, yes. right? Yeah, all your moms, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. And your coach sometimes too when he gets heated, yeah. Yeah. He probably gets mad at you, but probably cheering <laughs> you on as well. Make sure you yeah. move that basket as well. Um, what, was, what was one of the things that you, you know, remember most of that, you know, championship day or like throughout that tournament playing games, especially with your friends as well, because you're playing with your, most of your friends. But what was like memorable of that um, weekend? It was very loud. <laughs> <laughs> very loud. All, all tournaments are very loud. Did it affect the way you guys play when you have? You know, your moms, your parents, your no. friends watching. So you guys play the same every it doesn't yeah. matter if it's 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 basically I think it's me and the it's me, the ball and the basket. Mm -hmm. And my teammates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Which, teammates. yeah. Is there any team that you guys faced that you guys had difficult playing into or you felt like oh this Lapsley. was like a tough Lapsley. 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 Oh. So what did you guys find difficult about playing them? Like what's something that they did really well that you guys feel like they're really, really big. Yeah. They're fast. They know how to like keep you where you are. What did you guys feel like you did well to beat them because you guys won the tournament? What do you guys feel like you did as a team that helped you guys win against Lapsley? Move the ball, make sure we're all spread out so they don't all trap us. You know, as coach? Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we played as a team. Like, mm -hmm. uh, we shared the ball. 
like uh, there's no like superstars mm -hmm. like uh, everybody can like they have like special skills that they can uh, uh, what they call it contribute to the team mm -hmm. that's the I think that's the only difference I saw with between undefeated and Scarborough Lapsley mm -hmm. For us, like uh, five people touches the ball, mm -hmm. and especially for you, coach, because these kids are they're, they're growing. They're just you know first time playing basketball, or uh, they're all always improving. What kind of things that you know what needs to be improved for their their game or team ball for like future future tournaments or even their individual skills to be like one of the greatest players? Well, uh, for me, what I see from them is like uh, like I've been coaching for like how many years now? I see from other kids. If they're like, uh, if the, if the other team is leading, like let's say ten points, they put their heads down, right? And mm -hmm. keep telling these guys, game is not over until it's over. Keep battling until the end, until you see zero zero on the clock. Then that's when you're gonna see who, who wins the game, right? Mm -hmm. What are some of the uh, things that you insist on them, like core values, or uh, in terms of basketball? Uh, fundamentals, what are some of the things that you instill in them to say, here, you have to work on this every single time because once you make a habit of playing like this or playing this way, it's going to help you in the future and it's going to help you in future tournaments. Well, what I, t I keep telling them is like, uh, uh, if you see someone like bigger than you, never think that he's better than you. Always think he's better, but you're more better than them, <laughs> right? It's, true. It's, like, it's, all, it's, like, uh, it's not all about height. It's not all mm -hmm. about... Uh, Different players have different skills. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you guys are looking forward to, I guess, for the next tournament that's coming up? What are some of the things that you guys are looking forward to or have been working on to see if you can uh, improve your game? The upcoming tournament this weekend, I'm looking forward to facing Zach. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Yeah, they're going to be playing against yeah. each other, right? Yeah. Maybe you guys know each other's game. Do you guys know each other's game? You might match up one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, maybe. How about you, Zach? What are you looking forward to? Yeah, same thing. GT Hoops, playing on a different team, have new players. Yeah, facing facing my other my my other teammate. It's going to be fun. Mm 